Fairfax Sound. Like, that was a really emotionally oh, yeah. draining day for Demarius Thomas. Brothers for Life here. Broncos tweet a photo I, with Bongo. I, think I took that photo, literally. Did you? Yeah. Hashtag football is family. Well, thank no you. Photo cred there, right? No photo cred there. No photo cred from either star. Uh, no promo. Cred, though, for the <laughs> quote that's going to set up our conversation here with Demarius Thomas told you about the Broncos, and then also about his new team, the Texans. Yeah, and the specific question was about their very passive approach. They completed a pass to the 32-yard line with about 30 seconds to go in the clock running. Still had a timeout. It was second and five. And they decided we will just run one play, which lost a yard, uh, a run, yep. and we'll set up a 51-yard field goal, which is not a chip shot, and they missed. And then you combine that with, at the end of the first half, Vance Joseph trying a 62-yard field goal with 18 seconds to go, setting up the Texans after the a miss way. for three points of their own. And listen, this is I, I'm a huge Vance Joseph fan. He's an embattled coach. He started 2-0. and They've lost 6 of 7 now. Uh, and this is not going to ease the pressure on him. And by the way, working for John Elway is not a normal job. John Elway expects to win the Super Bowl or be close every single year. And, uh, you know, to, by the way, Jadavian Clowney in my story and also uh, Tyron Matthew yeah. basically said we were surprised they didn't try to be so more aggressive. what was the question to Demarius then? Uh, uh, at the end of the game, when they – What was going on? Were you surprised yeah. uh, that they didn't try to get closer than the 32-yard line? And he says that's, that's what, what they, they do, do over, over there. there. Yeah. I ain't a part of that no more. We like to win over here yeah. Yeah, with Houston, yeah. and they yeah, have and won he, six straight. Yeah. I mean, look, that, that, that's damning because, I mean, Demarius Thomas, I, I know him. I knew him since he came out of Georgia Tech. He's a quiet guy. He's not the dude. That's what go, shocked me, yeah, too. To go, yeah, to go firing off stuff like that. Clearly goes to show, one, he wanted to get out of there, but two, the thinking. You know, and that's very, it's a very critical comment of, of Vance Joseph. We know he is, in, he is in, uh, on the hot seat. It's, it's radioactive hot right now for Vance Joseph. And here's something like that after seeing it play out. Now, they make the field goal. We're not talking about this. Okay, right. we can question the game management. They make the field goal, they get the win. And, and in fairness to Vance Joseph, you're playing against Jadavia Cloudy and J.J. Watt. A negative play. A, a whole, negative a play, a whole hold a sack. Sure. That is a legitimate yeah. concern. Sure. Uh, my thing that's interesting, though, with Demarius is that you saw a little bit of the same thing with Adrian Peterson. These great players are maybe a little bit older. There's some pride involved here yeah, now, too. And you, that's why you could tell the emotion and all that. I, I could see those comments even coming out with a little bit of that emotion that he had there, being traded and feeling you know, kind of disrespected and now feeling appreciated by his new team there. So him being uh, – him lobbying uh, – lobbing some uh, some missiles over there yeah. to the Broncos doesn't really surprise <laughs> but me. But it also – it's not like he got traded to the Raiders or the Jets. No, no. He got no. traded to a team that's got an opportunity – to get back to winning. I mean, that's a heck of a fresh start for him. And I got to say this for the Texans. They were 0-3. You know, it was a lot of doom and gloom. Deshaun Watson oh, hadn't yeah, regained we'll, his right. rhythm we'll get yet. To that, yeah. uh, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, the coaching decisions continue to help the Texans. They were 0-3. They were in overtime. Frank Wright goes for it on fourth down in his own territory rather than taking a tie. They win the game. Right. Uh, Jason Garrett punts on fourth and very right. short, Overtime, driving yeah. in, in Texas territory. They win the game. Both times DeAndre yeah. Hopkins helped. And now this. So uh, congratulations to Bill O'Brien yeah. and the Texans for not making decisions that we second yeah. guess. And good coaching as well uh, from the Texans themselves to stay engaged after starting 0-3. Now just the second team to win six straight after starting 0-3 since the merger. And it may be a hot seat for Vance Joseph, but.